It's not. It's not for everyone. Um, it's clearly not. Some people just, it's just, it, it's for you if you choose it. You know, and uh, that's the biggest thing. If you choose to, to, to do it, then it's for you. You know, because it's not for everyone. Surfing's not for everyone. Mountain climbing is definitely not for everyone. I don't like mountain climbing. I don't like walking uphill. I don't like hiking. I don't like shopping. <laughs> that's, that's right? All right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you can just get the fundamentals of jiu-jitsu down in, 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 in that first six months to a year, even the first six months is liberating, liberating with confidence. Because then those first six months you're wrestling people you never thought that you would ever encounter. Some big crazy guy, you're scary, no way I would fight that guy, no way. But then you end up dealing with your fear here in the mat and that's where that's where you're gonna learn to calibrate that energy and that feeling of, of uh, uncertainty and like where you don't feel like you're confident. It doesn't matter. Like if you know, like you put yourself in the situation enough, you're like, you know what? He's, he, I get my butt kicked every day at jujitsu. <laughs> you know, there's no way this guy, I'm gonna be scared of this guy. I don't care. It's no way. I mean, you get confidence immediately, I think. But at the same time, you're humbled and you're not overconfident because you come to jiu-jitsu and you get beat up by your peers, by the people you look up to. And they keep you from, from that false sense of reality of like some people, they don't know who they are. They, they have big muscles, they're strong, but they've never been in a fight. So those guys typically usually are bullies. Right. Typically those guys are the guys starting fights in the bars because they get drunk, they don't know what they're made of, so they wanna test it. They don't know what they do with their energy, right? That's ignorance. That's why jujitsu is good because it makes people, it makes people understand who they are. Yeah. and where they are so they they don't act stupid you know jiu-jitsu is an ocean you know and white belts can't swim and it's our it's our job to show them how to swim and also guide them with blue belts by blue belts kind of corralling them into the shallows and 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 eating them right and beating on them every day they respawn and they get stronger and they get stronger and they're stronger until eventually they become more of a, you know, a, a predator, but not quite because there's purple belts and brown belts that are out there that are sharks that are like testing yeah. and constantly regulating the blue belt and, and, and eating the blue belts. It's just an ecosystem. Right. And, and you know, all the way until you get to the black belt out in the deep, you know, swimming with the sharks. Um, you know, that's the main thing. You could be good at jujitsu and be a shitty person. That's horrible. You know, I think just uh, learning how to be, um, I think jujitsu just taking just the fundamentals out of it and um, being able to protect your family, your friends, have that structure in your life, no matter if it's competitive. It doesn't have to be competitive. It, it doesn't have to be um, it's competitive anyway in the gym every day, you know? You don't have to be that. It can just be a lifestyle. It can be for you and you don't have to tell nobody. It's that secret superhero. You don't have to tell nobody. You just do it for yourself. I never told anybody that what I do. I don't normally wear shirts or that anything that draws people to me that say, oh, you fight or, you know. I believe if you do jiu-jitsu enough, it doesn't matter about competition. That's, that's uh, another realm. It's got nothing to do with the art of jiu-jitsu. It's uh, the sport of jiu-jitsu. So you can judge them based on the sport. You should divide There's the a, sport from the art. Yes. Yeah. Think street. Because yeah. a lot of that sport stuff, when you're rubbing your face in half guard on the, on the mat, 
and, and, re and reaching for half guard and, and going upside down on your forehead, that's, you're not going to have any eyebrows left if you do that on the concrete, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, you're, you, there's things that you can't just do. Um, these mats really is a false sense of reality. This is a nerf. This is a nerf game. Yeah. You know, so the street is different. And there's punches. Punches change grappling. Yeah. When someone's punching you in the face, punching you in the ribs, trying to rip your balls off, right? There's people that do that. People grab for your privates. They, they, they pinch, scratch, claw, poke your eye. I was already impressed from just Adam, watching Adam on Facebook and watching him on Instagram, watching what these guys are doing over here and accomplishing. I think I already walked in knowing that this was a serious gym. They were really serious about jujitsu and you know, it's like, it's really good to see. It's really liberating for me. So it's really like a beautiful thing to see like such like hungry grapplers that wanna be good and want to do this, every, I mean, it's just, it's really fun. And that's why you guys are going to be good. And I think it's great. It's the, the, the whole program looks great. And, uh, you know, everybody's so open and so like problem solving themselves, not, not so needy and, and too many questions. They, they really, they really are great already. I, I was so impressed with the white belts and I'm going to separated the rooms and I went in there and, I showed that stuff and I'd come back and they're all doing it just damn near perfect. Maybe I, maybe it's just because I, sh I mean, I showed it good and they just caught on to it, you know, and it was like, it was so easy to, to do. I think the hardest thing was running back and forth yeah. and I was hot, <laughs> you know, but uh, uh, dang impressive. And like the cr little group of uh, purple belts, those guys just look like a bunch of, it's a good, healthy good healthy crew of, of guys that are like hungry to get better and I can see that hopefully it was something that um, that is going to help them and, and, and stay with them you know. Come stand. Go.